We're here with our OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist, Dr. Rosalind Biggs. And Rosalind, if producers out there haven't done vaccinations for their breeding herds, now's probably the time to start doing that, right? It's definitely the time to start discussing it. And the recommendation I have is to set an appointment with your veterinarian, sit down at the desk or across the kitchen table and figure out what exactly you need. There's no cookie cutter uh, recipe to breeding herd vaccinations. There, there are some fundamentals that we want to keep in mind, um, but it's largely based on the type of cattle you have, the age of cattle you have, whether you've vaccinated before or you have an, a known vaccination history, uh, and then what, what your purposes are for, for those cows and ultimately their calves in the future. And I imagine timing is part of the fundamentals that you're mentioning. Why, uh, why this time of year? Yeah, so timing is, is really critically important and it has more to do with uh, it being in the spring than when we're choosing to breed. So, you know, ideally, all things being perfect, we want to get that, that cow herd or those replacement heifers that fully vaccinated at least 45 days prior to breeding. Now, I'm also realistic in understanding that that doesn't always happen and there's a number of reasons. Uh, based on time commitments, um, off the farm jobs, uh, labor availability. And so we may need to look at other options and using different types of vaccines uh, later in, uh, in the process of pregnancy in order to get those females covered. So let's dive a little bit more into those fundamentals. What are some things that producers really need to consider when they're, you know, before they contact their veterinarian? Right, I think keeping in mind what their goals are with their operation and um, understanding, do I have a vaccinated herd to begin with, right? Do I have known history on, on both females as well as bulls in, in, in my plan? Uh, we don't wanna forget the bulls in this process too. Yeah. Gonna to talk a lot about females, but uh, we wanna make sure the bull is covered as well. And so particularly if we don't know the history, we wanna discuss that with our veterinarian because depending upon their pregnancy status and our timing for breeding, we may wanna use a killed vaccine over a modified live vaccine. I'm a big modified live vaccine uh, fan, but it needs to be used appropriately and making sure that the timing is right so we don't have impacts uh, when it comes to breeding time. And in those impacts, you know, if you wait a little longer, that's really affecting the bottom line at the end of the day. Absolutely, we wanna be using the, the product that is gonna give us the coverage we need based on the risk at the, at the farm or ranch. And uh, we want to make sure that they're covered, uh, the individual, uh, whether that be the bull or females, we wanna make sure that individual is covered, but particularly on the females, we wanna make sure that uh, we have a long lasting coverage because uh, ideally we want that female to dump all that immunity into her colostrum for her calf at those first, uh, first nursings. And you know, for the most seasoned ranchers, you know, they've been through this before, they know what to expect. Before those newer to the industry, you know, a lot of this could probably be pretty overwhelming, I would imagine. It, it absolutely can be overwhelming. Even for our, our seasoned ranchers that have been there, done that, it's a really good idea to sit down at least annually with their veterinarian and uh, discuss the particulars of their treatment plan. And then for our, you know, maybe newer or beginning farmers and ranchers, a great place to start is the resources with their uh, county extension office, with their county educator, sit down, come up with the list. Um, that can also save some time, uh, get it double checked by the veterinarian and uh, hopefully you're good to go. And we also have a lot of useful resources online as well. Absolutely, we've got some tremendous fact sheets. Um, we've got great chapters in our beef cattle manual to take a look at that really explain the ins and outs of vaccine selection and making sure we get appropriate coverage uh, for the breeding herd. All right, thanks Rosalind. Dr. Rosalind Biggs, OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like some more information about how to keep your herd healthy this summer, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.